Brown University is a private Ivy League research university in Providence, Rhode Island, United States. Founded in 1764 as the college in the English colony of Rhode Island and Providence Plantations, it is the seventh oldest institution of higher education in the U.S. and one of the nine colonial colleges chartered before the American Revolution. At its foundation, Brown was the first college in the U.S. to accept students regardless of their religious affiliation. Its engineering program was established in 1847. It was one of the early doctoral granting U.S. institutions in the late 19th century, adding master's and doctoral studies in 1887. In 1969, Brown adopted a new curriculum sometimes referred to as the Brown Curriculum after a period of student lobbying. The new curriculum eliminated mandatory general education distribution requirements, made students the architects of their own syllabus and allowed them to take any course for a grade of satisfactory or unrecorded no credit. In 1971, Brown's coordinate women's institution, Pembroke College, was fully merged into the university. Pembroke campus now includes dormitories and classrooms used by all of Brown. Undergraduate admissions is highly selective, with an acceptance rate of 7.2% for the class of 2022. The university comprises the college, the Graduate School, Alpert Medical School, the School of Engineering, the School of Public Health and the School of Professional Studies which includes the IE Brown Executive MBA program. Brown's international programs are organized through the Watson Institute for International and Public Affairs, and the university is academically affiliated with the Marine Biological Laboratory and the Rhode Island School of Design. The Brown, RISD dual degree program, offered in conjunction with the Rhode Island School of Design, is a five-year course that awards degrees from both institutions. Brown's main campus is located in the College Hill Historic District in the city of Providence, Rhode Island. The university's neighborhood is a federally listed architectural district with a dense concentration of colonial-era buildings. Benefit Street, on the western edge of the campus, contains one of the finest cohesive collections of restored 17th and 18th century architecture in the United States. As of August 2018, eight Nobel Prize winners have been affiliated with Brown University as alumni, faculty members, or researchers. In addition, Brown's faculty and alumni include five National Humanities Medalists and ten National Medal of Science laureates. Other notable alumni include eight billionaire graduates, a U.S. Supreme Court Chief Justice, four U.S. Secretaries of State and other cabinet officials, 54 members of the United States Congress, 56 Rhodes Scholars, 52 Gates Cambridge Scholars, 49 Marshall Scholars, 14 MacArthur Genius Fellows, 21 Pulitzer Prize winners, various royals and nobles, as well as leaders and founders of Fortune 500 companies. Topic history Topic The foundation and the charter The origin of Brown University can be dated to 1761, when three residents of Newport, Rhode Island drafted a petition to the General Assembly of the Colony. Your petitioners proposed to open a literary institution or school for instructing young gentlemen in the languages, mathematics, geography and history, and such other branches of knowledge as shall be desired. That for this end, it will be necessary, to erect a public building or buildings for the boarding of the youth and the residence of the professors. The three petitioners were Ezra Stiles, pastor of Newport's Second Congregational Church and future president of Yale, William Ellery Jr. Future signer of the United States Declaration of Independence, and Hosius Linden, future governor of the colony. Stiles and Ellery were co-authors of the charter of the college two years later. The editor of Stiles's papers observes. This draft of a petition connects itself with other evidence of Dr. Stiles's project for a collegiate institution in Rhode Island, before the charter of what became Brown University. There is further documentary evidence that Stiles was making plans for a college in 1762. On January 20, Chauncey Whittlesey, pastor of the First Church of New Haven, answered a letter from Stiles. The week before last I sent you the copy of Yale College Charter. Should you make any progress in the affair of a college, I should be glad to hear of it, I heartily wish you success therein. The Philadelphia Association of Baptist Churches also had an eye on Rhode Island, home of the Mother Church of their denomination, the first Baptist church in America, founded in Providence in 1638 by Roger Williams. The Baptists were as yet unrepresented among colonial colleges, the Congregationalists had Harvard and Yale, the Presbyterians had the College of New Jersey later Princeton, and the Episcopalians had the College of William and Mary and King's College later Columbia. 
Isaac Backus was the historian of the New England Baptists and an inaugural trustee of Brown, writing in 1784. He described the October 1762 resolution taken at Philadelphia. The Philadelphia Association obtained such an acquaintance with our affairs, as to bring them to an apprehension that it was practicable and expedient to erect a college in the colony of Rhode Island, under the chief direction of the Baptists. Mr. James Manning, who took his first degree in New Jersey College in September, 1762, was esteemed a suitable leader in this important work. Manning arrived at Newport in July 1763 and was introduced to Stiles, who agreed to write the charter for the college. Stiles's first draft was read to the General Assembly in August 1763 and rejected by Baptist members who worried that the College Board of Fellows would under-represent the Baptists. A revised charter written by Stiles and Ellery was adopted by the Assembly on March 3, 1764. In September 1764, the inaugural meeting of the College Corporation was held at Newport. Governor Stephen Hopkins was chosen Chancellor, former and future Governor Samuel Ward was Vice-Chancellor, John Tillinghast Treasurer, and Thomas Ayers Secretary. The charter stipulated that the Board of Trustees be composed of 22 Baptists, 5 Quakers, 5 Episcopalians, and 4 Congregationalists. Of the 12 Fellows, 8 should be Baptists—including the College President and the rest indifferently of any or all denominations." The charter was not the grant of King George III, as is sometimes supposed, but rather an act of the Colonial General Assembly. In two particulars, the charter may be said to be a uniquely progressive document. First, other colleges had curricular strictures against opposing doctrines, while Brown's charter asserted, "...sectarian differences of opinions, shall not make any part of the public and classical instruction." Second, according to Brown University historian Walter Bronson, "...the instrument governing Brown University recognized more broadly and fundamentally than any other the principle of denominational cooperation." The oft-repeated statement is inaccurate that Brown's charter alone prohibited a religious test for college membership. Other college charters were also liberal in that particular. James Manning was sworn in as the college's first president in 1765 and served until 1791. In 1770, the college moved from Warren, Rhode Island to the crest of College Hill overlooking Providence. Solomon Drown, a freshman in the class of 1773, wrote in his diary on March 26, 1770, This day the committee for settling the spot for the college, met at the new brick school house, when it was determined it should be set on Ye Hill opposite Mr. John Jenks, up the Presbyterian Lane. Presbyterian Lane is the present college street. The eight-acre site had been purchased in two parcels by the corporation for £219, mainly from Moses Brown and John Brown, the parcels having formed a part of the original home lots of their ancestor, Chad Brown, and of George Rickard, who bought them from the Indians. University Hall was known as the College Edifice until 1823. It was modeled on Nassau Hall at the College of New Jersey. Its construction was managed by the firm of Nicholas Brown & Company, which spent £2,844 in the first year building the college edifice and the adjacent president's house. Topic the Brown family Nicholas Brown, his son Nicholas Brown Jr., class of 1786, John Brown, Joseph Brown, and Moses Brown were all instrumental in moving the college to Providence and securing its endowment. Joseph became a professor of natural philosophy at the college, John served as its treasurer from 1775 to 1796, and Nicholas Jr. succeeded his uncle as treasurer from 1796 to 1825. On September 8, 1803, the corporation voted, that the donation of $5,000, if made to this college within one year from the late commencement, shall entitle the donor to name the college. That appeal was answered by college treasurer Nicholas Brown Jr. in a letter dated September 6, 1804, and the corporation honored its promise. In gratitude to Mr. Brown, the corporation at the same meeting voted, that this college be called and known in all future time by the name of Brown University. Over the years, the benefactions of Nicholas Brown Jr. totaled nearly $160,000, an enormous sum for that period, and included the Buildings Hope College 1821-22 and Manning Hall 1834-35. It is sometimes erroneously supposed that Brown University was named after John Brown, whose commercial activity included the transportation of African slaves. In fact, Brown University was named for Nicholas Brown Jr., philanthropist, founder of the Providence Athenaeum, co-founder of Butler Hospital, and an abolitionist. 
Nicholas Brown Jr. became a financier of the movement under the guidance of his uncle Moses Brown, one of the leading abolitionists of his day. The American Revolution The college library was moved out of Providence for safekeeping in the fall of 1776, with British vessels patrolling Narragansett Bay. On December 7, 1776, 6,000 British and Hessian troops sailed into Newport Harbor under the command of Sir Peter Parker. College President Manning said in a letter written after the war, the Royal Army landed on Rhode Island and took possession of the same, this brought their camp in plain view from the college with the naked eye, upon which the country flew to arms and marched for Providence, there, unprovided with barracks they marched into the college and dispossessed the students, about forty in number. In the claim for damages presented by the corporation to the United States government, says the university historian, it is stated that the American troops used it for barracks and hospital from December 10, 1776, to April 20, 1780, and that the French troops used it for a hospital from June 26, 1780, to May 27, 1782. The French troops were those of the Comte de Rochambeau. The new curriculum In 1966, the first group independent study project GISP at Brown was formed, involving 80 students and 15 professors. The GISP was inspired by student-initiated experimental schools, especially San Francisco State College, and sought ways to put students at the center of their education and teach students how to think rather than just teaching facts. Members of the GISP, Ira Magaziner and Elliot Maxwell published a paper of their findings entitled Draft of a Working Paper for Education at Brown University. The paper made proposals for the new curriculum, including interdisciplinary freshman year courses that would introduce modes of thought, with instruction from faculty from different disciplines as well as for an end to letter grades. The following year, Magaziner began organizing the student body to press for the reforms, organizing discussions and protests. In 1969, University President Ray Hefner's Special Committee on Curricular Philosophy in response to student rallies held support of curriculum reform. The committee was tasked with developing specific reforms, and the resulting report was called the Metter Report after the committee's chairman. The report was presented to the faculty, which voted the new curriculum into existence on May 7, 1969. Its key features included Modes of thought courses for first-year students The introduction of interdisciplinary courses The abandonment of general education distribution requirements The satisfactory, no credit SNC grading option the ABC, no credit grading system, which eliminated pluses, minuses, and Ds, a grade of no credit, would not appear on external transcripts. The modes of thought course was discontinued early on, but the other elements are still in place. In 2006, the reintroduction of plus, minus grading was broached by persons concerned about grade inflation. The idea was rejected by the College Curriculum Council after canvassing alumni, faculty, and students, including the original authors of the Magaziner Maxwell Report. <laughs> Coat of arms Brown University's coat of arms is a white field divided into four sectors by a red cross, within each sector is an open book. Above the shield is a crest consisting of the upper half of a sun in splendor among the clouds atop a red and white torse. The sun and clouds represent learning piercing the clouds of ignorance. The cross is believed to be a St. George's cross, and the open books represent learning. <laughs> Campus Brown is the largest institutional landowner in Providence, with properties on College Hill and in the Jewelry District. The College Hill campus was built contemporarily with the 18th and 19th century precincts that surround it, so that university buildings blend with the architectural fabric of the city. The only indicator of campus is a brick and wrought iron fence on Prospect, George, and Waterman Streets, enclosing the College Green and Front Green. The character of Brown's urban campus is then European organic rather than American landscaped. Topic. Main campus The main campus, comprising 235 buildings and 143 acres 0.58 square kilometers, is on College Hill in Providence's east side. 
It is reached from downtown principally by three extremely steep streets College, Waterman, and Angel which run through the Benefit Street Historic District and the campus of the Rhode Island School of Design. College Street, culminating with Van Wickel Gates at the top of the hill, is especially beautiful, and is the setting for the convocation and commencement processions. Van Wickel Gates the Van Wickel Gates, dedicated on June 18, 1901, have a pair of smaller side gates that are open year-round, and a large central gate that is open two days a year for convocation and commencement. At convocation the gate opens inward to admit the procession of new students. At commencement the gate opens outward for the procession of graduates. A brown superstition is that students who walk through the central gate a second time prematurely will not graduate, although walking backwards is said to cancel the hex. Members of the Brown University Band famously flout the superstition by walking through the gate three times too many, as they annually play their role in the commencement parade. The core green spaces of the main campus are the front or quiet green, the college or main green, and the Ruth J. Simmons Quadrangle until 2012 called Lincoln Field. The old buildings on these three greens are the most photographed. Adjacent to this older campus are, to the south, academic buildings and residential quadrangles, including Riston, Keeney, and Gregorian quadrangles, to the east, Sciences Park occupying two city blocks, to the north, connected to Simmons Quadrangle by the walk, academic and residential precincts, including the Life Sciences Complex and the Pembroke Campus, and to the west, on the slope of College Hill, academic buildings, including List Arts Center and the Hay and Rockefeller Libraries. Also on the slope of College Hill, contiguous with Brown, is the campus of the Rhode Island School of Design. John Hay Library The John Hay Library is the second oldest library on campus. It was opened in 1910 and named for John Hay, class of 1858, private secretary to Abraham Lincoln and Secretary of State under two presidents at the request of his friend Andrew Carnegie, who contributed half of the $300,000 cost of the building. It is now the repository of the university's archives, rare books and manuscripts, and special collections. Noteworthy among the latter are the N.S.K. Brown Military Collection described as the foremost American collection of material devoted to the history and iconography of soldiers and soldiering. The Harris Collection of American Poetry and Plays described as the largest and most comprehensive collection of its kind in any research library. The Loans Collection of the History of Science described as one of the three most important private collections of books of science in America. And for popularity of requests, the papers of H.P. Lovecraft. The Hay Library is home to one of the broadest collections of Incunabula, 15th century printed books in the Americas, as well as such rarities as the manuscript of Orwell's 1984 and a Shakespeare first folio. There are also three books bound in human skin. John Carter Brown Library The John Carter Brown Library, founded in 1846, is administered separately from the university, but has been located on the main green of the campus since 1904. It is generally regarded as the world's leading collection of primary historical sources pertaining to the Americas before 1825. It houses a very large percentage of the titles published before that date about the discovery, settlement, history, and natural history of the New World. The J.C.B., as it is known, published the 29-volume Bibliotheca Americana, a principal bibliography in the field. Typical of its noteworthy holdings is the best preserved of the eleven surviving copies of the Bay Psalm book the earliest extant book printed in British North America and the most expensive printed book in the world. There is also a very fine Shakespeare first folio, added to the collection by John Carter Brown's widow a Shakespeare enthusiast on the grounds that it includes The Tempest, a play set in the New World. The JCB holdings comprise more than 50,000 early titles and about 16,000 modern books, as well as prints, manuscripts, maps, and other items in the library's specialty. Manning now houses the Hafenreffer Museum of Anthropology. Hafenreffer Museum The exhibition galleries of the Hafenreffer Museum of Anthropology, Brown's Teaching Museum, are located in Manning Hall on the campus's main green. Its one million artifacts, available for research and educational purposes, are located at its collections research center in Bristol, RE. 
The museum's goal is to inspire creative and critical thinking about culture by fostering interdisciplinary understanding of the material world. It provides opportunities for faculty and students to work with collections and the public, teaching through objects and programs in classrooms and exhibitions. The museum sponsors lectures and events in all areas of anthropology, and also runs an extensive program of outreach to local schools. The Walk connects Pembroke campus to the main campus. It is a succession of green spaces extending from Ruth Simmons Quadrangle Lincoln Field in the south to the Pembroke College Monument on Meeting Street in the north. It is bordered by departmental buildings and the Granoff Center for the Creative Arts. A focal point of the walk will be the Maya Lin-designed water-circulating topographical sculpture of Narragansett Bay, to be installed in 2014 next to the Institute for the Study of Environment and Society. Pembroke Campus The Women's College in Brown University, known as Pembroke College, was founded in October 1891. When it merged with Brown in 1971, the Pembroke Campus was absorbed into the Brown Campus. The Pembroke Campus is centered on a quadrangle that fronts on Meeting Street, where a garden and monument—with scale model of the quadrangle in bronze—composed the formal entry to the campus. The Pembroke campus is among the most pleasing spaces at Brown, with noteworthy examples of Victorian and Georgian architecture. The west side of the quadrangle comprises Pembroke Hall 1897, Smith Buonanno Hall 1907, formerly Pembroke Gymnasium, and Metcalf Hall 1919. The east side comprises Alumni Hall 1927 and Miller Hall 1910. The quadrangle culminates on the north with Andrews Hall 1947 and its terrace and garden. Pembroke Hall, originally a classroom building and library, now houses the Cogat Center for the Humanities. East Campus, centered on Hope and Charlesfield Streets, was originally the site of Bryant University. In 1969, as Bryant was preparing to move to Smithfield, Rhode Island, Brown bought their Providence campus for $5 million. This expanded the Brown campus by 10 acres 40, square meters and 26 buildings, included several historic houses, notably the Isaac Gifford Ladd House, built 1850 now Brown's Orwig Music Library, and the Robert Taft House, built 1895 now King House. The area was named East Campus in 1971. Thayer Street runs through Brown's main campus, north to south, and is College Hill's reduced-scale counterpart to Harvard Square or Berkeley's Telegraph Avenue. Restaurants, cafes, bistros, tavernas, pubs, bookstores, second-hand shops, and the like abound. Tourists, people watchers, buskers, and students from Providence's six colleges make the scene. Half a mile south of campus is Thayer Street's hipper cousin, Wickenden Street. More picturesque and with older architecture, it features galleries, pubs, specialty shops, artist supply stores, and a regionally famous coffee shop that doubles as a film set for Woody Allen and others. Brown Stadium, built in 1925 and home to the football team, is located approximately a mile to the northeast of the main campus. Marston Boathouse, the home of the crew teams, lies on the Blackstone, Seekonk River, to the southeast of campus. Brown's Warren Alpert Medical School is situated in the historic Jewelry District of Providence, near the medical campus of Brown's Teaching Hospitals, Rhode Island Hospital, Women and Infants Hospital, and Hasbro Children's Hospital. Other university research facilities in the Jewelry District include the Laboratories for Molecular Medicine. Brown's School of Public Health occupies a landmark modernist building overlooking Memorial Park on the Providence Riverwalk. Brown also owns 376-acre the Mount Hope Grant in Bristol, Rhode Island, an important Native American and King Philip's War site. Brown's Hafenreffer Museum of Anthropology Collection Research Center, particularly strong in Native American items, is located in the Mount Hope Grant. Academics Presidents Brown's current president Christina Hull Paxson took office in 2012. She had previously been dean of the Woodrow Wilson School at Princeton University and a past chair of Princeton's economics department. In 2014 and 2015, Paxson presided over the year-long celebration of the 250th anniversary of Brown's founding. 
Her immediate predecessor as president was Ruth J. Simmons, the first African-American president of an Ivy League institution. Simmons will remain at Brown as a professor of comparative literature and Africana studies. The college Founded in 1764, the college is the oldest school of Brown University. About 6,400 undergraduate students are currently enrolled in the college, and 79 concentrations majors are offered. Completed concentrations of undergraduates by area are Social Sciences 42%, Humanities 26%, Life Sciences 17%, and Physical Sciences 14%. The concentrations with the greatest number of students are biology, history, and international relations. Brown is one of the few schools in the United States with an undergraduate concentration major in Egyptology. Undergraduates can also design an independent concentration if the existing programs do not align with their curricular focus. 35% of undergraduates pursue graduate or professional study immediately, 60% within five years, and 80% within ten years. For the class of 1998, 75% of all graduates have since enrolled in a graduate or professional degree program. The degrees acquired were doctoral 22%, master's 35%, medicine 28%, and law 14%. The highest fields of employment for graduates of the college are business 36%, education 19%, health, medical 6%, arts 6%, government 6%, and communications, media 5%. Topic. Brown, RISD dual degree program Brown's near neighbor on College Hill is the Rhode Island School of Design RISD, America's top-ranked art college. Brown and RISD students can cross-register at the two institutions, with Brown students permitted to take as many as four courses at RISD that count towards a Brown degree. The two institutions partner to provide various student life services and the two student bodies compose a synergy in the College Hill cultural scene. After several years of discussion between the two institutions and several students pursuing dual degrees unofficially, Brown and RISD formally established a five-year dual degree program in 2007, with the first class matriculating in the fall of 2008. The Brown, RISD dual degree program, among the most selective in the country, offered admission to 19 of the 707 applicants for the class entering in autumn 2018, an acceptance rate of 2.7%. It combines the complementary strengths of the two institutions, integrating studio art and design at RISD with the entire spectrum of Brown's departmental offerings. Students are admitted to the dual degree program for a course lasting five years and culminating in both the Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Science degree from Brown and the Bachelor of Fine Arts degree from RISD. Prospective students must apply to the two schools separately and be accepted by separate admissions committees. Their application must then be approved by a third Brown, RISD joint committee. Admitted students spend the first year in residence at RISD completing its first year experimental and foundation studies curriculum, while taking up to three Brown classes. The second year is spent in residence at Brown, during which students take mainly Brown courses while starting on their RISD major requirements. In the third, fourth, and fifth years, students can elect to live at either school or off campus, and course distribution is determined by the requirements of each student's unique combination of Brown concentration and RISD major. Program participants are noted for their creative and original approach to cross disciplinary opportunities, combining, for example, industrial design with engineering, or anatomical illustration with human biology, or philosophy with sculpture, or architecture with urban studies. An annual BRDD Exhibition is a well publicized and heavily attended event, drawing interest and attendees from the wider world of industry, design, the media, and the fine arts. Theatre and playwriting Brown's theatre and playwriting programs are among the best regarded in the country. Since 2003, eight different Brown graduates have either won four times or been nominated for six times the Pulitzer Prize, including winners Lynn Nottage 86 twice, 
2009, 2017, Ayad Actor, 93, Nilo Cruz, 94, and Chiara Alegria Hudes, 04, and nominees Sarah Rull, 97, twice, Gina Jumfrido, 97, twice, Stephen Karam, 02, and Jordan Harrison, 03. In American Theatre Magazine's 2009 ranking of the most produced American plays, Brown graduates occupied four of the top five places. Peter Nachtrieb 97, Rachel Scheinken 89, Sarah Rull 97, and Stephen Karam 02. The undergraduate concentration major encompasses programs in theater history, performance theory, playwriting, dramaturgy, acting, directing, dance, speech, and technical production. Applications for doctoral and master's degree programs are made through the University Graduate School. Master's degrees in acting and directing are pursued in conjunction with the Rep MFA program, which partners with one of the country's great regional theaters, Trinity Repertory Company, home of the last long-standing resident acting company in the country. Trinity Rep's present artistic director Kurt Columbus succeeded Oscar Eustace in 2006, when Eustace was chosen to lead New York's public theater. The many performance spaces available to Brown students include the Chase and Dowling Theatres at Trinity Rep, the McCormick Family, Lee Strasberg, Rights and Reason, Ashamu Dance, Stewart, and Leeds Theatres in University Departments, the Upstairs Space and Downstairs Space belonging to the Holy Student Run Production Workshop, and Alumni Hall, used by Brown University Gilbert and Sullivan and by Brown Opera Productions. Production design courses utilize the John Street Studio of Eugene Lee, three-time Tony Award winner. Topic writing programs Writing at Brown – Fiction, Nonfiction, Poetry, Playwriting, Screenwriting, Electronic Writing, Mixed Media, and the Undergraduate Writing Proficiency Requirement, is catered for by various centers and degree programs, and a faculty that has long included nationally and internationally known authors. The undergraduate concentration major in literary arts offers courses in fiction, poetry, screenwriting, literary hypermedia, and translation. Graduate programs include the fiction and poetry MFA writing programs in the literary arts department, and the MFA playwriting program in the theater arts and performance studies department. The nonfiction writing program is offered in the English department. Screenwriting and cinema narrativity courses are offered in the departments of literary arts and modern culture and media. The undergraduate writing proficiency requirement is supported by the Writing Center. Topic author prize winners alumni authors take their degrees across the spectrum of degree concentrations, but a gauge of the strength of writing at Brown is the number of major national writing prizes won. To note only winners since the year 2000, Pulitzer Prize for Fiction winners Jeffrey Eugenides 82 2003, Marilyn Robinson 66 2005, and Andrew Sean Greer 92 2018, British Orange Prize winners Marilyn Robinson 66 2009, and Madeline Miller 00 2012, Pulitzer Prize for Drama winners Nilo Cruz 94 2003, Lynn Nottage 86 twice, 2009, 2017, Chiara Alegria Hudes 04 2012, and Ayat Actor 93, 2013, Pulitzer Prize for Biography winner David Kurtzer 69, 2015, Pulitzer Prize for Journalism winners James Risen 77, twice, 2002, 2006, Mark Mermont 80, twice, 2003, 2007, Gareth Cook 91, 2005, Tony Horwitz 80, 2005, Peter Kovach 77, 2006, Stephanie Grace 86, 2006, Mary Swirsik 98, 2000 2006, Jane B. Spencer, 99, 2006, Usha Lee McFarling, 89, 2007, James Bandler, 89, 2007, Amy Goldstein, 75, 2009, David Rode, 90, twice, 1996, 2009, Catherine Schultz, 96, 2016, and Alyssa J. Rubin, 80, 2016, Pulitzer Prize for General Nonfiction winner James Foreman Jr., 88, 2018, as well as Pulitzer Prize for Poetry winner Peter Balakian P. PhD 80. Topic computer Science Brown began offering computer science courses through the Departments of Economics and Applied Mathematics in 1956 when it acquired an IBM machine. Brown added an IBM 650 in January 1958, the only one of its type between Hartford and Boston. In 1960, Brown opened its first dedicated computer building. The building, designed by Philip Johnson and opened on George Street, received an IBM 7070 computer the next year. Brown granted computer sciences full departmental status in 1979. 
In 2009, IBM and Brown announced the installation of a supercomputer by Teraflops standards, the most powerful in the southeastern New England region. In the 1960s, Andries Van Dam along with Ted Nelson, and Bob Wallace invented the hypertext editing systems, Keys and Fress while at Brown. Nelson coined the word hypertext. Van Dam's students helped originate XML, XSLT, and related web standards. Other Brown alumni have distinguished themselves in the computer sciences. They include a principal architect of the classic Mac OS, a principal architect of the Intel 80386 microprocessor line, the Microsoft Windows 95 project chief, a CEO of Apple, the former head of the MIT Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory, the inaugural chair of the Computing Community Consortium, and design chiefs at Pixar and Industrial Light and Magic, protégés of graphics guru Andries Van Dam. The character Andy in the animated film Toy Story is taken to be an homage to Van Damme from his students employed at Pixar. Van Damme denies this, but a copy of his book Computer Graphics, Principles and Practice appears on Andy's bookshelf in the film. Brown computer science graduate and Heroes actor Masi Oka 97, was an animator at Industrial Light and Magic. The department today is home to the cave. This project is a virtual reality room used for everything from three-dimensional drawing classes to tours of the circulatory system for medical students. In 2000, students from Brown's Technology House converted the south face of the Sciences Library into a Tetris game, the first high-rise building Tetris ever attempted. Code named La Bastille, the game used a personal computer running Linux, a radio frequency video game controller, 11 circuit boards, a 12-story data network, and over 10,000 Christmas lights. Topic the Joukowsky Institute for Archaeology and the Ancient World The Joukowsky Institute for Archaeology and the Ancient World pursues fieldwork and excavations, regional surveys, and academic study of the archaeology and art of the ancient Mediterranean, Egypt, and Western Asia from the Levant to the Caucasus. The institute has a very active fieldwork profile, with faculty-led excavations and regional surveys presently in Petra, Jordan, in west-central Turkey, at Abydos in Egypt, and in Sudan, Italy, Mexico, Guatemala, Montserrat in the West Indies, and Providence, Rhode Island. The institute's faculty includes cross-appointments from the departments of Egyptology, Assyriology, Classics, Anthropology, and History of Art and Architecture. Faculty research and publication areas include Greek and Roman art and architecture, landscape archaeology, urban and religious architecture of the Levant, Roman provincial studies, the Aegean Bronze Age, and the archaeology of the Caucasus. The institute offers visiting teaching appointments and postdoctoral fellowships which have, in recent years, included Near Eastern archaeology and art, classical archaeology and art, Islamic archaeology and art, and archaeology and media studies. Egyptology and Assyriology facing the Joukowsky Institute, across the front green, is the Department of Egyptology and Assyriology, formed in 2006 by the merger of Brown's renowned Departments of Egyptology and History of Mathematics. It is one of only a handful of such departments in the United States. The curricular focus is on three principal areas, Egyptology the study of the ancient languages, history, and culture of Egypt, Assyriology the study of the ancient lands of present-day Iraq, Syria, and Turkey, and the history of the ancient exact sciences astronomy, astrology, and mathematics. Many courses in the department are open to all Brown undergraduates without prerequisite, and include archaeology, languages, history, and Egyptian and Mesopotamian religions, literature, and science. Students concentrating majoring in the department choose a track of either Egyptology or Assyriology. Graduate level study comprises three tracks to the doctoral degree, Egyptology, Assyriology, or the history of the exact sciences in antiquity. The Watson Institute for International and Public Affairs The Watson Institute for International and Public Affairs is a center for the study of global issues and public affairs and is one of the leading institutes of its type in the country. It occupies an architecturally distinctive building designed by Uruguayan architect Rafael Vignoli. The institute was initially endowed by Thomas Watson, Jr., Brown Class of 1937, former ambassador to the Soviet Union, and longtime president of IBM. 
Institute faculty includes, or formerly included, Italian Prime Minister and European Commission President Romano Prodi, Brazilian President Fernando Henrique Cardozo, Chilean President Ricardo Lagos Escobar, Mexican novelist and statesman Carlos Fuentes, Brazilian statesman and United Nations Commission head Paulo Sergio Pinheiro, Indian Foreign Minister and Ambassador to the United States Nirupama Rao, American diplomat and Dayton Peace Accords author Richard Holbrook Brown 62, and Sergei Khrushchev, editor of the papers of his father Nikita Khrushchev, leader of the Soviet Union. The Institute's curricular interest is organized into the principal themes of development, security, and governance—with further focuses on globalization, economic uncertainty, security threats, environmental degradation, and poverty. Three Brown undergraduate concentrations majors are hosted by the Watson Institute, Development Studies, International Relations, and Public Policy. Graduate programs offered at the Watson Institute include the Graduate Program in Development (PhD) and the Public Policy Program (MPA). The institute also offers postdoctoral, professional development, and global outreach programming. In support of these programs, the institute houses various centers, including the Brazil Initiative, Brown India Initiative, China Initiative, Middle East Studies Center, the Center for Latin American and Caribbean Studies and the Taubman Center for Public Policy. In recent years, the most internationally cited product of the Watson Institute has been its Costs of War project, first released in 2011 and continuously updated. The project comprises a team of economists, anthropologists, political scientists, legal experts, and physicians, and seeks to calculate the economic costs, human casualties, and impact on civil liberties of the wars in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Pakistan since 2001. The School of Engineering Established in 1847, Brown's engineering program is the oldest in the Ivy League and the third oldest civilian engineering program in the country, preceded only by Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute 1824 and Union College 1845. In 1916, the departments of electrical, mechanical, and civil engineering were merged into a division of engineering, and in 2010 the division was elevated to a school of engineering. Engineering at Brown is especially interdisciplinary. The school is organized without the traditional departments or boundaries found at most schools, and follows a model of connectivity between disciplines—including biology, medicine, physics, chemistry, computer science, the humanities and the social sciences. The school practices an innovative clustering of faculties in which engineers team with non-engineers to bring a convergence of ideas. I.E. Brown Executive MBA Dual Degree Program Since 2009, Brown has developed an executive MBA program in conjunction with one of the leading business schools in Europe, i.e. Business School in Madrid. This relationship has since strengthened resulting in both institutions offering a dual degree program. In this partnership, Brown provides its traditional coursework while i.e. provides most of the business-related subjects making a differentiated alternative program to other Ivy League's EMBAs. The cohort typically consists of 25 to 30 EMBA candidates from some 20 countries. Classes are held in Providence, Madrid, Cape Town and online. Topic the Pembroke Center The Pembroke Center for Teaching and Research on Women was established at Brown in 1981 by Joan Wallach Scott as a research center on gender. It was named for Pembroke College, the former Women's Coordinate College at Brown, and is affiliated with Brown's Sarah Doyle Women's Center. It supports the undergraduate concentration in gender and sexuality studies, postdoctoral research fellowships, the annual Pembroke Seminar, and other academic programs. The center also manages various collections, archives, and resources, including the Elizabeth Weed Feminist Theory Papers and the Christine Dunlap Farnham Archive. Topic the Graduate School Established in 1887, the Graduate School has around 2,000 students studying over 50 disciplines. Twenty different master's degrees are offered as well as Ph.D. degrees in over 40 subjects ranging from applied mathematics to public policy. Overall, admission to the graduate school is most competitive with an acceptance rate of about 10%. Topic Alpert Medical School The university's medical program started in 1811, but the school was suspended by President Wayland in 1827 after the program's faculty declined to live on campus a new requirement under Wayland. 
In 1975, the first MD degrees from the new program in medicine were awarded to a graduating class of 58 students. In 1991, the school was officially renamed the Brown University School of Medicine, then renamed once more to Brown Medical School in October 2000. In January 2007, Warren Alpert donated $100 million to Brown Medical School, in recognition of which its name was changed to the Warren Alpert Medical School of Brown University. In 2014, U.S. News & World Report ranked Brown's medical school the fifth most selective in the country, with an acceptance rate of 2.9%. U.S. News ranks it 31st for research and 21st in primary care. The medical school is known especially for its eight-year program in liberal medical education (PLME), inaugurated in 1984. One of the most selective and renowned programs of its type in the country, it offered admission to 90 of the 2,290 applicants for the class entering in autumn 2015, an acceptance rate of 3.9%. Since 1976, the Early Identification Program has encouraged Rhode Island residents to pursue careers in medicine by recruiting sophomores from Providence College, Rhode Island College, the University of Rhode Island, and Tougaloo College. In 2004, the school once again began to accept applications from premedical students at other colleges and universities via AMCAS like most other medical schools. The medical school also offers combined degree programs leading to the MD, PhD, MD, MPH and MD, MPP degrees. Topic the Marine Biological Laboratory The Marine Biological Laboratory MBL is an independent research institution established in 1882 at Woods Hole, Massachusetts. The laboratory is linked to 54 current or past Nobel laureates who have been research or teaching faculty. Since 2005, the MBL and Brown have collaborated in a PhD program in biological and environmental sciences that combines faculty at both institutions, including the faculties of the Ecosystem Center, the Bay Paul Center, the Program in Cellular Dynamics, and the Marine Resources Center. Topic: <laughs> Online programs. The Brown University School of Professional Studies currently offers blended learning executive master's degrees in healthcare leadership, cybersecurity, and science and technology leadership. The master's degrees are designed to help students who have a job and life outside of academia to progress in their respective fields. The students meet in Providence, Rhode Island every six to seven weeks for a week seminar each trimester. The university has also invested in MOOC development starting in 2013, when two courses, Archaeology's Dirty Little Secrets and The Fiction of Relationship, both of which received thousands of students. However, after a year of courses, the university broke its contract with Coursera and revamped its online persona and MOOC development department. By 2017, the university released new courses on EDX, two of which were the Ethics of Memory and Artful Medicine, Art's Power to Enrich Patient Care. In January 2018, Brown published its first, Gamified, course called Fantastic Places, Unhuman Humans, Exploring Humanity Through Literature, which featured out-of-platform games to help learners understand materials, as well as a storyline that immerses users into a fictional world to help characters along their journey. Topic. Admissions and financial aid For the undergraduate class of 2022 enrolling in fall 2018, Brown received 35,438 applications, the largest applicant pool in the university's history. 2,566 were accepted for an acceptance rate of 7.2%, the lowest in university history. Additionally, for the academic year 2015-16 there were 1,834 transfer applicants, of whom 8.9% were accepted, with an SAT range of 2180-2330, ACT range of 31-34, and average college GPA of 3.85. In 2017, the graduate school accepted 11% of 9,215 applicants. In 2014, U.S. News ranked Brown's Warren Alpert Medical School the fifth most selective in the country, with an acceptance rate of 2.9%. Brown admission policy is stipulated need blind for all domestic applicants. In 2017, Brown announced that loans would be eliminated from all undergraduate financial aid awards starting in 2018 2019, as part of a new $30 million campaign called the Brown Promise. 
In 2016-17, the university awarded need-based scholarships worth $120.5 million. The average need-based award for the class of 2020 was $47,940. <laughs> Sustainability Brown has committed to minimize its energy use, reduce negative environmental impacts and promote environmental stewardship." The Energy and Environmental Advisory Committee has developed a set of ambitious goals for the university to reduce its carbon emissions and eventually achieve carbon neutrality. The Brown is Green Website collects information about Brown's progress toward greenhouse gas emissions reductions and related campus initiatives, such as student groups, courses, and research. Brown's grade of A- was the top one issued in the 2009 report of the Sustainable Endowments Institute no A grade was issued. Brown has a number of active environmental leadership groups on campus. These groups have begun a number of campus-wide environmental initiatives, including promoting the reduction of supply and demand of bottled water and investigating a composting program. Athletics Brown is a member of the Ivy League Athletic Conference, which is categorized as a Division I top level conference of the National Collegiate Athletic Association the Brown Bears are the third largest university sports program in the United States, sponsoring 38 varsity intercollegiate teams Harvard sponsors 42 and Princeton 39. Brown's athletic program is one of the U.S. News & World Report Top 20, the college sports honor roll, based on breadth of program and athletes' graduation rates. Brown's newest varsity team is women's rugby, promoted from club sport status in 2014. Brown women's rowing has won seven national titles between 1999 and 2011. Brown men's rowing perennially finishes in the top five in the nation, most recently winning silver, bronze, and silver in the national championship races of 2012, 2013, and 2014. The men's and women's crews have also won championship trophies at the Henley Royal Regatta and the Henley Women's Regatta. Brown's men's soccer is consistently ranked in the top 20, and has won 18 Ivy League titles overall. Recent soccer graduates play professionally in Major League Soccer and overseas. Brown football, under its most successful coach historically, Phil Estes, won Ivy League championships in 1999, 2005, and 2008. Brown football's re emergence is credited to its 1976 Ivy League championship team, the Magnificent Andersons, so named for its coach, John Anderson. High profile alumni of the football program include Houston Texans head coach Bill O'Brien, former Penn State football coach Joe Paterno, Heisman Trophy namesake John W. Heisman, and Pollard Award namesake. Sake Fritz Pollard. The men's lacrosse team also has a long and storied history. Brown women's gymnastics won the Ivy League tournament in 2013 and 2014. Brown varsity equestrian has won the Ivy League championship several times. Brown also supports competitive intercollegiate club sports, including sailing and ultimate frisbee. The men's ultimate team, Brownian Motion, has twice won the national championship. In 2000 and 2005, the first intercollegiate ice hockey game in America was played between Brown and Harvard on January 19, 1898. The first university rowing regatta larger than a dual meet was held between Brown, Harvard, and Yale at Lake Quinsigamond in Massachusetts on July 26, 1859. Topic student life Topic Campus safety In 2014, Brown University tied with the University of Connecticut for the highest number of reported rapes in the nation, with its total of reports of rape on their main campus standing at 43. Topic spring weekend The weekend includes an annual spring concert festival that has featured numerous famous artists. Topic residential and Greek societies About 12% of Brown students are in fraternities and sororities. There are 11 residential Greek houses, 6 fraternities Beta Rho Pi, Delta Phi, Delta Tau, Phi Kappa Psi, Sigma Chi, and Theta Delta Chi, 3 sororities Alpha Chi Omega, Kappa Alpha Theta, and Kappa Delta, 1 co-ed house Zeta Delta Xi, and 1 co-ed literary society Alpha Delta Phi. Phi Sigma Kappa fraternity was present on campus from 1906 to 1939, but was unable to reactivate after World War II due to wartime losses. All recognized Greek letter organizations are located on campus in Riston Quadrangle in university-owned housing. 
They are overseen by the Greek Council. An alternative to Greek letter organizations are the program houses organized by themes. As with Greek houses, the residents of program houses select their new members, usually at the start of the spring semester. Examples of program houses are St. Anthony Hall located in King House, Buxton International House, the Machado French, Hispanic, Latinx House, Technology House, Harambi African Culture House, Social Action House and Interfaith House. Currently, there are three student cooperative houses at Brown. Two of them, Waterman and Finlandia on Waterman Street, are owned by the Brown Association for Cooperative Housing a non-profit corporation owned by its members. The third co-op, West House, is located in a Brown-owned house on Brown Street. The three organizations run a vegetarian co-op for the larger community. All students not in program housing enter a lottery for general housing. Students form groups and are assigned time slots during which they can pick among the remaining housing options. Topic. Societies and clubs The earliest societies at Brown were devoted to oration and debate. The pronouncing society is mentioned in the diary of Solomon Drown, class of 1773, who was voted its president in 1771. It seems to have disappeared during the American Revolutionary War. We next hear of the Misocosmian Society, founded in 1794 and renamed the Falermenian Society in 1798. This was effectively a secret society with membership limited to 45. It met fortnightly to hear speeches and debate and thrived until the Civil War. In 1821 its library held 1594 volumes. In 1799, a chapter of the Philandrian Society, also secret, was established at the college. In 1806, the United Brothers was formed as an egalitarian alternative to the Philarmenian Society. These two great rivals, says the university historian, divided the student body between them for many years, surviving into the days of President Sears. A tincture of political controversy sharpened their rivalry, the older society inclining to the aristocratic federals, the younger to the Republicans, the Democrats of that day. The students continuing to increase in number, they outran the constitutional limits of both societies, and a third, the Franklin Society, was established in 1824, it never had the vitality of the other two, however, and died after ten years. Other 19th-century clubs and societies, too numerous to treat here, are described in Bronson's History of the University. The Camarian Club—founded in 1893 and taking its name from the Latin for lobster, its members' favorite dinner food—was at first a semi-secret society which tapped 15 seniors each year. In 1915, self-perpetuating membership gave way to popular election by the student body, and thenceforward the club served as the de facto undergraduate student government. In 1971, unaccountably, it voted the name Camarian Club out of existence, thereby amputating its tradition and longevity. The successor and present-day organization is the generically named Undergraduate Council of Students. Societas Domi Pacificae, known colloquially as Pacifica House is a present-day, self-described secret society, which nonetheless publishes a website and an email address. It claims a continuous line of descent from the Franklin Society of 1824, citing a supposed intermediary, Franklin Society, traceable in the 19th century. But the intermediary turns out to be, on closer inspection, the well-known Providence Franklin Society, a civic organization unconnected to Brown whose origins and activity are well documented. It was founded in 1821 by merchants William Grinnell and Joseph Balch, Jr., and chartered by the General Assembly in January 1823. The Pacifica House account of this conflated Franklin Society cites published mentions of it in 1859, 1876, and 1883. But the first of these Rees 1859, see footnote infra, is merely a sketch of the 1824 Brown organization. The second Stockwell 1876, is a reference book article on the Providence Franklin Society itself, and the third is the Providence Franklin Society's own publication, which the Pacifica House reference Ms. ascribes to the Franklin Society, dropping the word Providence. Student organizations 
There are over 300 registered student organizations on campus with diverse interests. The Student Activities Fair, during the orientation program, provides first-year students the opportunity to become acquainted with the wide range of organizations. A sample of organizations includes, Topic Resource Centers Brown University has several resource centers on campus. The centers often act as sources of support as well as safe spaces for students to explore certain aspects of their identity. Additionally, the centers often provide physical spaces for students to study and have meetings. Although most centers are identity-focused, some provide academic support as well. The Brown Center for Students of Color BCSC is a space that provides support for students of color. Established in 1972 at the demand of student protests, the BCSC encourages students to engage in critical dialogue, develop leadership skills, and promote social justice. The center houses various programs for students to share their knowledge and engage in discussion. Programs include the Third World Transition Program, the Minority Peer Counselor Program, the Heritage Series, and other student-led initiatives. Additionally, the BCSC hopes to foster community among the students it serves by providing spaces for students to meet and study. The Sarah Doyle Women's Center aims to provide a space for members of the Brown community to examine and explore issues surrounding gender. The center was named after one of the first women to attend Brown University, Sarah Doyle. The center emphasizes intersectionality in its conversations on gender, encouraging people to see gender as present and relevant in various aspects of life. The center hosts programs and workshops in order to facilitate dialogue and provide resources for students, faculty, and staff. Other centers include the LGBTQ Plus Center, the First Generation College and Low Income Student FLI Center, and the Curricular Resource Center. Topic controversy over Ada mental health discrimination Like many colleges, Brown mandates forced medical leaves for students expressing feelings of self-harm, depression, schizophrenia, or other forms of mental illness. Controversy arises within the college as to whether Brown follows the U.S. Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990, with Brown's own newspaper, the Brown Daily Herald, criticizing the university's policy behind readmission from psychological medical leave. According to a 2010 article in the Brown Daily Herald, even Dean of Student Life and Chair of the Medical Leave Readmission Committee Maria Suarez admits that, I wish we had more resources to connect with students. Suarez said, the support is there, but it is student-initiated. However, Suarez has been widely criticized within and outside the university as being non-compliant with American ADA laws, often denying students readmission for little to no reason. Moreover, the university leaves students with few guidelines on how to become readmitted. Students report that very little communication is made with the university during a leave of absence, and that the university does not aid disabled students in their progress. One mentally disabled student alleges, after five semesters of mandatory leave, that, one of the administrators, Suarez, he claims, told him, you should consider yourself lucky because Brown's better than other schools. At least you're not getting kicked out of Brown. The psychological leave readmission process takes place once every six months, and requires only a student's statement and a psychiatrist's or psychologist's statement of well-being, with no interview. Many students report that the process is not thorough enough to judge one's own progress in mental health, thereby violating ADA rights. The denial letters are often short and generic, with one sentence changed at most for multiple denials. Topic rankings In 2014, National Science Foundation ranked Brown University 66th in the United States by research. For 2017, U.S. News & World Report ranks Brown University 85th globally. The 2013 U.S. News & World Report rankings peer assessment portion gives the school a score of 4.4, tied with University of Pennsylvania, Dartmouth, Northwestern, and University of Michigan. In 2014, Forbes magazine ranked Brown 7th between Caltech and Princeton University on its list of America's most entrepreneurial universities. The Forbes analysis looked at the ratio of alumni and students who have identified themselves as founders and business owners on LinkedIn and the total number of alumni and students. 
The 2017 Academic Ranking of World Universities ranked Brown among the 49-60 th best universities in the United States, alongside institutions such as Indiana University Bloomington and Emory University, and above rival Ivy League, Dartmouth College. LinkedIn particularized the Forbes rankings, placing Brown third between MIT and Princeton among best undergraduate universities for software developers at startups. LinkedIn's methodology involved a career path examination of millions of alumni profiles in its membership database, Brown ranked 7th in the country between Princeton and Columbia in a study of high school seniors revealed preferences for matriculation conducted by economists at Harvard, Wharton, and Boston University, and published in 2005 by the National Bureau of Economic Research. The 2008 Center for College Affordability and Productivity (CCAP) ranked Brown fifth in the country among national universities. Brown ranked fifth in the country in Newsweek, The Daily Beast's America's Brainiac Schools, based on the number of prestigious scholarships won, adjusted for student body size, including the Rhodes Scholarship, the Truman Scholarship, the Marshall Scholarship, the Gates Scholarship since 2001, and the Fulbright Scholarship since 1993. Also factored in are standardized test scores, admissions rates, and students in the top 10% of their high school class. In 2017, U.S. News ranked Brown's Warren Alpert Medical School the seventh most selective in the country, tied with the UC Davis School of Medicine and the UCLA School of Medicine, with an acceptance rate of 2.7%. In the 2012 evaluation of MFA writing programs by Poets and Writers magazine, Brown was ranked fourth in the country, third for selectivity, and first in the Ivy League. The Forbes magazine annual ranking of America's Top Colleges 2016, which differs from the U.S. news by putting research universities and liberal arts colleges in a single sequence, ranked Brown 8th overall. U.S. News & World Report ranked Brown 14th in its 2018 edition. The 2019 edition also ranked Brown 6th for undergraduate teaching, between William and Mary and Stanford, as it had in 2007 and 2010. The 2011 Princeton Review email poll of college students ranked Brown 1st in the country for happiest students. In the 2016 17 year, Brown students received 30 Fulbright scholarships, the highest number of any institution in the United States. Topic notable people Alumni in politics include U.S. Secretary of State John Hay 1852, U.S. Secretary of State and Attorney General Richard Olney 1856, Chief Justice of the United States and U.S. Secretary of State Charles Evans Hughes 1881, Senator Maggie Hassan 80 of New Hampshire, Governor Jack Markell 82 of Delaware, Rhode Island Representative David Cicilline 83, and DNC Chair Tom Perez 83. Prominent alumni in business and finance include philanthropist John D. Rockefeller, Jr. 1897, Chair of the Federal Reserve Janet Yellen 67, World Bank President Jim Yong Kim 82, Bank of America CEO Brian Moynihan 81, CNN founder and America's Cup yachtsman Ted Turner 60, IBM Chairman and CEO Thomas Watson, Jr. 37, Apple Inc. CEO John Scully 61, Uber CEO Dara Khosrowshahi 91, and magazine editor John F. Kennedy, Jr. 83. Important figures in the history of education include the father of American public school education Horace Mann 1819, civil libertarian and Amherst College president Alexander Meeklejohn, first president of the University of South Carolina Jonathan Maxey 1787, Bates College founder Orrin B. Cheney 1836, University of Michigan president 1871-1909 James Burrell Angel 1849, University of California president 1899 to 1919 Benjamin Ide Wheeler 1875 and Morehouse College's first African American president John Hope 1894 Alumni in the computer sciences and industry include architect of Intel 386, 486, and Pentium microprocessors John H. Crawford 75 and inventor of the first silicon transistor Gordon Kidd Teal 31 Alumni in the arts and media include actress Jessica Capshaw 98, actor David Diggs 04, actress Emma Watson 14, NPR program host Ira Glass 82, singer-composer Mary Chapin Carpenter 81, humorist and Marx Brothers screenwriter S.J. 
Perelman 25, novelists Nathaniel West 24, Jeffrey Eugenides 83, Edwidge Danticat MFA 93, and Marilyn Robinson 66, actress Joe Beth Williams 70, composer and synthesizer pioneer Wendy Carlos 62, journalist James Risen 77, political pundit Mara Lazon, New York Times, publisher A. G. Sulzberger 04, and actress Julie Bowen 91. Other notable alumni include Lafayette of the Greek Revolution", and its historian Samuel Gridley Howe 1821, Governor of Wyoming Territory and Governor of Nebraska John Milton Thayer 1841, Governor of Rhode Island Augustus Bourne 1855, NASA head during first seven Apollo missions Thomas O. Payne 42, Diplomat Richard Holbrook 62, Sportscaster Chris Berman 77, Houston Texans head coach Bill O'Brien 92, 2018 Miss America Kara Mund 16, Penn State football coach Joe Paterno 50, Heisman Trophy namesake John W. Heisman 91. Olympic and world champion triathlete Joanna Zeiger, royals and nobles such as Prince Rahim Aga Khan, Prince Faisal bin al-Hussein of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, Princess Leila Pahlavi of Iran 92, Prince Nikolaus of Greece and Denmark, Prince Nikita Romanov, Princess Theodora of Greece and Denmark, Prince Jaime of Bourbon Parma, Duke of San Jaime and Count of Bardi, Prince Riyadh bin Zayd, Lady Gabriella Windsor, Prince Alexander von Furstenberg, Countess Cosima von Bulow Pavancelli, and her half-brother Prince Alexander Georg von Auersberg, and David Schreier, American futurist and author. Nobel laureates Craig Mello 82 and Jerry White 87, Cooley Tukey FFT algorithm co-originator John Wilder Tukey 36, biologist Stanley Falkow PhD 59, and psychologist Aaron Beck 50. Notable past or current faculty have included Nobel laureates Michael Kosterlitz, Lars Onsager, George Stigler, Vernon L. Smith, George Snell and Leon Cooper, Fields Medal winning mathematician David Mumford, Pulitzer Prize winning historian Gordon S. Wood, Sakurai Prize winning physicist Gerald Guralnik, computer scientist Andries Van Dam, engineer Daniel C. Drucker, sociologist Lester Frank Ward, former Prime Minister of Italy and former EU Chief Romano Prodi, former President of Brazil Fernando Cardozo, former President of Chile Ricardo Lagos, writers Carlos Fuentes, Chinua Achebe, and Robert Coover, philosopher Martha Nussbaum, linguist Hans Kurath, political scientist James Marone, biologist Kenneth R. Miller, and senior fellow Sergei Khrushchev. In popular culture Brown's reputation as an institution with a free-spirited, iconoclastic student body is portrayed in fiction and popular culture. Family Guy character Brian Griffin is a Brown alumnus. The OC's main character Seth Cohen is denied acceptance to Brown while his girlfriend Summer Roberts is accepted. In Gossip Girl, New York socialite Serena vies with her friends for a spot at Brown, and The Simpsons character Lisa Simpson is told by Harvard's president after she fails a test that she will be unable to attend Harvard, but he can pass her file along to Brown. Amy Gardner from the West Wing is a Brown alumna. President Garrett Walker in House of Cards is also an alumnus of Brown University. In the 1999 American comedy drama film Varsity Blues, film, the main character Jonathan Mox. Moxon James Van Der Beek earns a full scholarship to Brown. Topic. See also List of Brown University statues Brown University alma mater Josiah S. Carberry Topic. Notes Topic. References Topic Bibliography Topic External Links Official Website Brown Athletics Site Brown University The American Cyclopedia eighteen seventy nine